When we use a lookup function, we can get Google Sheets to look something up for us in a range and then return a value. <laughs> and believe you me, that's much more useful than it sounds. And there are several different types of lookup functions. And so in this video, I'm going to get you started with probably the most popular one, a VLOOKUP. I'm back into our formulas and functions file, but this time I'm on the orders sheet. So you can see I've just got a little spreadsheet here where we capture a customer name for each order that we take and how many widgets they have ordered. And we offer them a discount based on how many widgets that they order. And the discounts are shown down here in this yellow table. So if they order 200 or more widgets, then they get a 20% discount. If they order between 100 and 199, they get a 15% discount etc. So what I want to happen is for the amount they've ordered to be looked up in my little discounts table and then the correct percentage discount to show just here. And we'll do something similar with delivery charges as well. So let's imagine we've got pre-agreed delivery charges for all of our customers. So I've got another little table here. So I'm going to want Google Sheets to look up the customer name in this table and then display how much we've agreed to charge them for delivery. Now, before we go any further with these types of functions, and in fact, with many types of functions, it's a really good idea to name any ranges that you're going to be referring to in your functions. You'll see it in action when we do it, but to name a range, well, just select it. And then up towards the top left hand corner, you can see the actual range in terms of the cell references. But if you click that, you kind of go into editing mode and you get to give it a name. So I'm going to call that discounts. So that's what that range of cells is now called. And you'll see if I click away and then click the drop down where I type that in, that's now showing us something that I can go to. So it's actually a great way of navigating a spreadsheet if you've got important parts of a big spreadsheet you want to go to. But anyway, those cells have been named. And notice I have not included the headings here. I mean, they're just for me to know what it's all about. The spreadsheet doesn't need those headings. But anyway, let's do the same for the delivery charges. Let me just select the cells and then click up in the top left there and just I'm going to just call this delivery so there we go so we've got two named ranges so let's start off with our lookup function in this cell here now over towards the right hand side on your functions button and we used this earlier on in this skill when we just popped in some of those uh, easy functions but look there are loads of other functions all arranged into categories and in the lookup category well there are lots of different types of lookup functions and the one that we're going to use as you know is the v lookup that's v for vertical and that's because our little lookup tables are arranged in columns vertically but we are just going to do that one example so of course you know you can learn more about these functions and that learn more link down the bottom here will take you to that same function list that we saw earlier on in this skill so are you ready let's do it so let's type equals v lookup and as soon as i type the open bracket i get a bit of help as to what the different components are that it needs and the first thing it needs is well the search key this is what am i looking up well, I want it to look up how many widgets have been ordered. So that's the thing that it's looking up. I type a comma. So the next component is, well, what's the range that you want me to look that up in? And that's the named range. So I think you'll remember we called that discounts, didn't we? So I'm just going to start typing discounts. And sure enough, it's shown there as an option that I can pick. And it does include the uh, cell reference there just in case I need to check it's the right one. And then the third component is labeled index, but this is basically the number of the column that I want it to display a value from. So it's going to look something up in the first column, you know, how many widgets they have ordered, and then I want them to display the percentage discount from the second column here. So I'm going to type in a two to say, please display a value from that second column. Let me close the bracket, press enter, and it's suggesting it could auto fill that for me. So I'm thinking, yeah, OK, go for it. But let's just check that it has got it right. So the first customer has ordered 180 widgets. It seems to think that that equates to a 15 percent discount. And I think, yes, that's right. Between 100 and 199 gives us a 15 percent discount. This customer has only ordered 10. Well, yes, I'm afraid up to 24. They don't get any discount at all. So that has worked great. And of course, it's dynamic. So if I change this to 203, then that's going to update the discount accordingly. Let's try the same for the delivery charge. Equals V lookup, open bracket. What is it you want me to look up, dear user? Well, it's the customer name this time and then a comma. The next bit is, well, where do you want me to look it up? Well, this time it's the delivery named range. There it is. And which column would you like me to display the answer from? Well, you look up the customer name in the first column, display a value from the second column. So again, it's number two for that uh, third part of the function. Close the bracket and press enter. And it seems to have filled it all in. Well, that's looking great. But it's always good practice just to do a spot check. And I can see straight away that Snow Avionics, well, it looks like we're charging them £10 or whatever the currency is. 
whereas I can see in our table that we don't charge Snow Avionics any delivery charge at all. So something has gone awry here. And the reason for this is the way that the lookups work. So the assumption is that the lookup table is sorted. Now, for this numerical one here, well, of course it was sorted. You know, we had the range of numbers going from 0 to 24 and then 25 to 49. Naturally, it was ordered. So therefore, when the function had to look up, for example, a value of 80, it would come down that first column and say, no, 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 oh, bounce back. It's working from top to bottom in order to find out which value it should display from the right hand side there, from the column that we specify. So that example worked perfectly because that table was sorted. It worked very well with how lookups are designed to work. But this table, well, we didn't trouble ourselves to sort this alphabetically. I mean, it would have worked a bit better if we had sorted the customer names alphabetically, but even then you can still get problems. So what we need to do, we need to specify in the function a final component. And you can see here, is it sorted or not is sorted. So I'm going to say false. I'm going to say, well, actually, that delivery charges table is not sorted. The customer names are not sorted alphabetically. And what that means, if we specify that the table is not sorted, it's going to have to do an exact match when it does its lookup rather than just working its way from top to bottom in an assumed sorted table. So let's try that. I can already see that the first one is now correct. Snow Avionics is now zero, but let's just fill that down for the rest of the column and do another spot check. So there's Snow Avionics again with a zero. What about Pine and Black? That should be 10. Uh, pine and Black, there we go, 10. Yes, that does seem to be working. That's better. So lookups are really very useful. And we tried two examples of the very common V lookup function. And we also used named ranges. Now note that you can find the named ranges option on the data menu. So if you go into that and look over on the right hand side, that would be another way of adding a range or editing or deleting ranges. So check that out. But your homework, should you choose to accept it, is to use the function list to learn more about how lookups work.